What grade do you give Scylla? Hmm. Oh. Me? That's a tester. <laughs> That's a tester. I think you can, I think... I mean, you can't, you can't argue with 30 goals, really. I wish you could see Stevie's face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think you've got to, you have to give him a B. Right. You have to give him a B because we're talking about Harry Kane scoring 30 goals for Spurs. Yeah. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Liverpool were as bad as Spurs for a long period of time and he still ended up with 30 goals. So, yeah, I, I would give him a B. That was a reluctant B. A lot of well, I just, I, yeah. well, it was because it, he's, he's very frustrating. I find Salah very frustrating. You cannot argue with the goals he gets. No. Nope. But sometimes when he loses the ball in the most incredulous ways, stands on it, passes it straight to the opposition, I mean, you name it, 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 I find it very frustrating. But then the guy will turn round and whip a ball into the top corner or smash it in off the crossbar or whatever. So, listen, if you've got a striker who scores 30 goals in a season, you've got to be happy. Do we take it for granted, Mark, a little bit? Oh, still have 30 goals, yeah, that's a given. Absolutely, I think we do. And that, it's hard to give a player a B-plus or an A an A season that Liverpool have had. But, you know, Salah always delivers in the big game, you know. The, the main thing of a striker is they, they call it heavy goals. Don't they? they score the big goals in the games that matters. And Salah, Salah does it against all the big teams. And I think, you know, when he goes, he will leave a massive hole in Liverpool's team. I mean, he, he really is a superstar. And I think that, you know, 30, 16 assists as well. People think he's quite a selfish player. 16 assists. You know, Salah is up there with the you know the top five Premier League players ever. I think. And I think you do take it for granted that he's so good. I mean, you look at his record: 31, 31, 23, 27. He scores goals all the time, and I think 30 goals in a season when Liverpool have been pretty poor, that, that is a pretty good return. So I, th I think Salah, you never give Salah less than a B. Did he just say top five Premier League player ever? Uh, all time, yeah. There you go. I don't like uh, Mark uh, putting lists together, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, well, that's a discussion for another day, yes. Ali. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, before we wrap up this review of Liverpool's season, Mr Alexander-Arnold has got a new position. Oh, is he? Everything's going to be well in the world, isn't it, going forward? Now, where's, where's he playing? Well, he plays in the middle, doesn't he? Oh, he <laughs> plays in the middle. <laughs> Gets some, oh, got the ball in the middle now. Well, I, find it, I'll, I, will, I, I will find it interesting when the season starts because... Oh, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> well, because it's one thing to start having a guy who plays right back who generally, who generally stays wide and whips in those incredible balls but who can't defend. And then all of a sudden you change his role... And no surprise when he gets time on the ball in the middle of the park, he's picking passes, he's whipping balls again. But he was doing that in this new position when... I, I, it's a bit harsh to say it didn't matter, but it didn't really. Oh. Because Liverpool's season was dead. And so for Liverpool to go on the run, they did, what, nine wins and two draws or something? Everybody's like, oh, that's really good and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? That's not, the, that's not what Liverpool is supposed to do. And you don't, you don't get pats on the back for winning games that it doesn't matter. And so, for me, it's going to be interesting to see whether Klopp continues to play him in there. Because if they start the season and he's doing this and they're getting raided down that side, as they've been doing for most of the season, then we will see whether or, or how long it lasts. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.